Well, good morning on this Friday, Mother's Day weekend. I hope all of you are well and you are ready for this beautiful weekend and um, you can celebrate your mom. I know some of us have lost our moms, including myself, but we still need to remember and celebrate their remarkable lives and their gift to us of life. I uh, will have a hard day on Sunday um, because my mom is not here, but um, she's here and she's here. Nobody can ever take that from me and I am going to remember her remarkable life and honor her by being happy and laughing and being with my family for Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day early to all my moms out there. God bless you for what you do and for your beautiful children. So let's get ready. Grab your drink, grab your tools, grab your makeup, and let's get this party started this morning. It is so incredibly humid in Houston. <laughs> I mean, humid already, and we're not even the middle of May. It's just, oh Lord, I think we're going to be in for another scorching hot summer. And I think we are going to all be like, and why were we so glad the rain stopped? <laughs> You know, we're never satisfied, right? Never. And we either have too much of something or not enough of, some, of something, and then we just, um, we're just never satisfied, are we? Got that on. And today I'm gonna try not to, to forget anything. I've been kind of forgetful the last couple of days, uh, just because I'm out of my norm, I think is what it is. So I started with my Makeup Revolution, Fix and Glow. I am going to try to list. You guys are asking me and asking, and I've been trying to put a whole list together. It's just not working. So I'm gonna show each, each product, and then I'm gonna put it in order on my table, and I'm gonna list it. I promise you, I'm gonna list it. Now I am coming in with my Cookies and Cream. This is e.l.f. Love, 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 love this primer. This is an e.l.f. Cookies and Cream. Wonderful primer. The two of these products together just really do get my skin set up beautifully for my uh, makeup. And you know what? I forgot to do my brows. I've already forgotten something. So we're going to have to do the brows and I'm going to try to do them quickly and not waste a lot of your time. Um, I just don't do those very fast and I hate to waste your time on them, but I do have to do them. So let me get out my trusty little three-step process here. Okay, this is Benefit Bangs Brow System. Three steps to it. I'm going to use them in the order that I use them. Let me get my mirror here. First one is the wax. As you can see, and I'm taking it, and I am waxing what I do have, which is not a lot, but I do have some, and I'm gonna get those up there. Get that wax in. As you can see by just looking here, that's the color of my natural um, eyelashes, and you can just barely see. <laughs> Now we're gonna use the coloring wand. This actually comes in and it picks up the hairs and it colors them. And I do this in this step because then I can really see what hairs I have and where they are before I go to using the pencil. And I 
but just come back over where that wax is. And you can see that that is better, but I'm still so incredibly light colored that I have to use a pencil to fill in. Just don't have enough natural eyebrow hairs and a dark enough color that I've got to use something to fill in and that's where the pencil comes in. Okay. And I do have to clean this up because I have little hairs um, at the top part of my brows and so um, I do have to clean it up. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna draw and fill in. I'm gonna start down here and go over and fill in on top there. This is the pen this is the pencil part of the application. And for me it's a, it's a really easy pencil. I think cuz it's so fine and I control the I can control on this one the product really easily. So just keep going over Make sure that I get that line so you can't just see the line and blend it. And just keep going up. Filling in. And then finishing the line down here so it's nice and symmetrical. I will have to clean the ends up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Benefit Bang Three Step Brow System. Okay. Be right back. I forgot a tissue. Hold on. that for you. It's running a little better. Oh, okay. So pretend you Okay, now I'm going to come in and let's clean up this lower area here. And as you can see, I just come in and I do the sides. And there we go. Benefit Bangs Brow System. Okay, now, uh, today we're gonna be using the Professional Makeup Under Eye Blurring product. This is in 02, I believe is the color. And as I said, this has a different tinge to it. This is a little bit brighter. This has sort of a yellow undertone. Um, or some would say a nude undertone where the other one that I use has a pink undertone. I think this one is definitely brighter when you when you apply it and it definitely gives you a little bit brighter color diffusion underneath your eye area. Let's get that all blended out. I do use that on the lids and I do use it to correct my brow area too clean that up from the pencil. All right. It is definitely a brighter under eye corrector 
then the other one, the Catrice one that I use as well. And going up and fixing that up here. Blend that out. You guys remember I am not in my office, so you're going to be hearing background noises while I'm filming in here. I don't know when I'll be back into my office, frankly. Okay, and I do use it on the lids too to color correct any small capillary breakthroughs, which I, I don't have very many. The biggest problems that I have is is right here at the front where I have scarring. I have sun scarring over here and I have a burn scar over here. But you can tell just by looking, it, it definitely brightens that under eye area and it eliminates that uh, discoloration. It is not going, if you're new here, it is not going to erase this indention line that we all have. Well, not all of us. As we age, we get that because we lose, the first place in our face that we lose fat is right under here in your eye bag pocket. And so the line that you're actually seeing is not a discoloration line, but it is actually a loss of fat uh, under your eye. That's why people get fillers under their eyes. They fill that fat back in. All right, now let's get to foundation, which I, you guys know I am really loving this tier, 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 tier foundation. Um, it's Korean, it's a Korean product, and it is definitely a remarkable product. It goes on incredibly light. It's almost, it, I swear it almost feels like water. It's incredibly lightweight. It breathes remarkably. And it blends just astounding. It is truly astounding how beautiful this foundation is making my skin look. I know a couple of my uh, viewers have purchased this and um, Guys, I would really, really love to know, have you used it yet? And what do you think? Are you as impressed as I am? Or did you not have a good as experience as I did? I hope for sure that you've had a good experience with it and that you like it. It's a great price point at $25 to buy the um, initial set. And then it is $16 to refill the pod or the egg or whatever you want to call it and I did get one of those so I'm going to show you that here in just a second all right look how beautiful that is on my skin I mean just remarkable I got um I can't read the color, but I can tell you it's the lightest color on their chart because all the writing on the back is, is in a foreign language, so I can't read it. But I do know when I purchased it on the uh, Amazon web website, I got the very fur co coolest cool tone color. Um, and this, that is the how the packaging comes. And then here is the refill. It comes in a little pouch. Um, so, I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, that's why I went ahead and got the refill. Um, I still have not been able to see any any video that talks about how long the product is lasting for people. I am really, really curious about that. If you have seen a video or you know how long um, the original pod system is lasting the product let us know would you drop a comment and please let us know so if people are buying it we know how long 
it's going to take before we've got to buy it again. All right, let me grab another little drink here while that sinks in. I think it is important to let your wet products just sink into your skin because especially as we age, you know, we get these fine little lines everywhere. And so you, you want your foundation to smooth out and give you this smooth, plain surface on your skin. And so just, just take a few minutes and just really let that uh, foundation sink into your skin. Make sure you don't get any lines anywhere. The color match for me is almost perfect. What's well, as perfect as I'm ever gonna get it. Um, second, secondly, I um, do take it down onto my neck area so we can try to get it all blended so we don't have drastic differ differentials. Um, there is a foundation out there that I have not tried yet and it's a, I think it's a cream foundation. You put it on and then it, you put it on one color and it trans, it changes colors to match your skin. I haven't tried that yet. I don't even know the name of it. I just saw it in a video passing and I thought, wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, next product that we're gonna be using is this e.l.f. Contour Palette. I love the four colors because I use the darker colors too for my initial application. And then I do use the lighter colors to come back in and just blend. Just because, you know, if you follow me at all, you know that I am paranoid about contour. I am always afraid I'm gonna put way too much on. It's a newer product for me. So I haven't been using it, you know, as long as I've been wearing makeup because it hasn't been around, obviously. And so I just get a little bit paranoid about the application of this product. You guys actually encouraged me to try a different one because the one I was using um, was not dark enough. And so you can definitely see a difference now here and here, but <clears throat> I can't leave it like that because in, in my brain, it looks too dark. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna blend. One of my best friends actually said to me, Carrie, what are you talking about? It looks great. Stop, get, get out of your own head. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that when you've been, when you've been doing things one way for so long and then you change or you try a new product, which for me is very difficult. I am not a change person at all. Um, it is a very difficult thing for me, but I did because I took your guys' advice and I appreciate that so very much. Um, and for me, it worked out great. I also changed when I added my contour. I'm now adding it before I put on my loose powder. Um, I think it looks better, it blends better, it looks more natural for me because I am so fair skinned. So putting it on before my loose powder, I think has made a big difference too. My loose powder is Laura, is Laura Mercier. And I use my little old fashioned powder puff here. And I start under the eyes. Try not to hit the brows if I can help it at all. I do change the powder consistency, guys. I do, um, if you watched my video yesterday, you um, know that I take the packaging when it comes in and I get a similar sized container and I split the original product into two containers. I just cut it in half. I take half out and put it in another container. And I got these little containers. I don't know where I got them, Walmart or somewhere. I don't know. And so I take half of the, con half of the uh, powder and I put it in another container. And then what I do at that point is I add to each container enough to fill up the container and I use powder. I just use plain old powder. You can use any powder you want. I use just plain old 
baby powder. And I blend it in with the loose powder that I get. Now I am gonna just take my powder puff and I'm just gonna tap my brows. It's just sort of setting them. And there we go. Be sure to go down onto your neck. Now that is beautiful. My skin, I did exfoliate um, last night and I did use um, last night a, quite a bit of my life cell right after I exfoliated my skin and I literally just lathered it up on my face and then I let it sit. I didn't blend at all. I didn't rub it in at all. I just let it sit for a good 15 minutes and then I did just gently uh, rub the excess in because I really wanted to saturate my skin last night after I exfoliated. And you know what? It does make a difference. It really does. Uh, I try to exfoliate twice a week. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a really pretty product. This is House Labs Mauve. Um, I'm going to change the lip color up a little bit today just because today we're actually going to use a lavender palette. And so I'm going to use the mauve to go along with it instead of the bright pink. Um, so House Labs Mauve is the name of that lipstick. I am going to add a little bit of gloss to it, but not just yet. I just wanted to get some on because my of exfoliating. Okay, today we're going to be using this really small little eyeshadow palette. And if I remember correctly, this was actually a gift in one of my Estee Lauder uh, purchases that I had. Um, Lily Pull, Pull It Zer. And it's this beautiful lavender purpley, small, compact. Uh, and I think the colors are just beautiful. We're gonna use, we're gonna use these three colors. We're gonna use this color all over, then we're gonna use these two colors and mix them in transition, and then we're gonna use this color to outline. I don't think it's available. Like I said, I do believe it was in a gift set, you know, one of those holiday gift sets or something. So I don't think you can actually buy it anymore, but I will put it in the list for you. So you know. So as I said, we're going to start with that light, sort of really pretty, light mauvey, purpley color. And we're going to put that on the lid and up under the brow. It's been a really long time since I used this palette. I don't even know the last time I used this palette. That's how long it's been. But we're going to use it today. As I said, I am in my house right now. Uh, my office cable was destroyed during the storm a week ago. And uh, we have got to get that cable run again which we're going to try to do tomorrow. So I don't know when I'm gonna be back in and filming in my office um, because I also got some pretty devastating news yesterday. Uh, you know, I've been having some complications from my shoulder surgery that I had in February. I went in last week and got an injection. Something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Isn't that funny? My Alexa just started talking and nobody said anything to her <laughs> technology. Maybe it's my mom. My mom's in the building. <laughs> 
I do believe in that. I believe our loved ones are always with us. <laughs> this is hysterical. Oh, goodness, Carrie. Um, okay, what was I saying? I have, I'm having a complication with my shoulder. I went in and I had an injection done last week. And unfortunately, it only lasted three days. And since then, I have had this same problem resurface three times. And so when I went in yesterday for my follow-up with my surgeon, he was like, you know, you don't think the injections are gonna do you any good. You only got three days of relief from them and we're not sure what's going on. We've either got a failed repair, meaning the original repair failed, or there's another problem that we didn't see. But basically what it means is we've got to go back in and we've got to rescope your shoulder and we've got to go in and see what's going on, which means surgery again. And I am just beyond frustrated. Not at my doctor at all. I have complete confidence in, in this doctor for sure. Um, he has been just remarkable. If you're in Houston and you need a shoulder doctor, Dr. Schroeder at Methodist is just a remarkable doctor. I love everything about him. I love his bedside manner. Just everything about him has been fantastic. His staff, he is always on time. He never makes me wait, which to me, that's a huge sign of respect. When your doctors don't make you wait, that means that they respect you and they respect your time. And for me, that, that just really does mean a lot. Dr. Schroeder at Methodist, Methodist North, which is, if you know Houston area, is down in Katy. Um, I-10 and 99, if you look specifically for him. And it's going to be done in the next two weeks. So to say I'm frustrated and I'm just really frustrated and really disappointed because I've got an upcoming overseas trip in September and I have to be ready for it. I just, I have to, it's just something I cannot postpone because we are, we are doing a ceremony for my mom back in Australia, our homeland with our ashes. And there's just no way I would ever not go. And I don't want to be miserable when I get there. It's an 18 hour trip. I'm going with my dad. I've got to be well. Okay, now I'm taking my under eye it's not really under eye. I'm using it under my eye. It is my uh, Perfect Pore Pink Compact Powder. It is pink. It doesn't look pink, but it definitely is pink. I'm using my uh, rectangular powder puff, and I'm just coming under my eyes to brighten them a little bit, but I'm also, at the same time, I'm sweeping away fallout because you will get fallout. Most eyeshadows do give you a fallout of some sort. It's it's pretty rare when you don't get any fallout, but it happens too, so. And then we're just going to take the powder puff and just sort of go down the rest of the face, blend that in really well. And I'm trying to see, I can't see if I have enough in my transition. I think so, but I'm gonna blend it a little bit. You can always go back. I do wanna lighten the under eye a little bit, so I'm gonna go into that same color that I put over the, down on the, the lid area, and just sort of blend and soften this lower line a little bit. All right, how are we looking? That looks nice. I am gonna get my really hard angled 
brush. I'm gonna wet it just with my fingers. And I'm gonna dip into that plummy purpley color a little bit more and just add a little. I'm doing that because I don't want the, the fallout and I wanna pick it up on the brush a little bit. And I'm taking it up into the triangle area of my eye, which is right here. Just creating that triangle corner here. Very nice. Beautiful, actually. All right. Um, what do we want here? I think I do want to add just a little bit of my Jumbo Stick um, NYX product. This is my lipstick. Just a little to recreate a shimmer on my lip. The mauve is beautiful, but it's a matte mauve and I am not a huge fan of matte. I do love this color, and I do use this color to blend, um, and that's much better. Just gives a little bit of hint of iridescence. Now, we are going to come in with the star of the show, always is, and that's blush. And I just adore this blush. This is a Fendi product. It's called What a Brat. It runs you about $40 and you can get it at Ulta. And I'm telling you, I think it's better than Christian Dior's. I really do. I love the natural, sh the natural blush that you get. And I do very much love the shimmer that you get. It has built-in highlight properties, so you can see. And I do very, very much love this blush goes beautifully with this color combination beautifully actually that is just beautiful mm. okay let's jump in and let's curl these lashes So I'm having surgery again. I don't know when it's gonna be. I really am trying to get it done next week. Um, sooner the better so I can get it done and get it over and start healing. I'm just incredibly disappointed. But it is what it is, right? I mean, what am I going to do about it? I trust my doctor, so I've just got to go with what he says. And this is what he says. And um, I can tell you when I move my shoulder, I get this sound like a rubber band. Every time I move it, it's like, like it's tightening up. You know that sound you get when you tighten up a rubber band really, really, really hard? Um... So, I don't know. Okay, today we are going to use, um, this is Maybelline's Sky High Mascara. I do love, love this mascara in black. Oh, I didn't show you the Fenty. Let me get back in here and show you. This is Fenty's What a Brat. Look at that beautiful iridescence. Mm. Spectacular blush. And now we're using my Maybelline Sky High Black Mascara. And as always, starting at the bottom. Grabbing that curl, coating it with the product. And then just letting the wand do its thing.
This is the mascara that went viral last year and created such a stink on social media. Um, one of the most famous influencers, I'm not gonna name names here, but you guys can probably figure out who I'm talking about. She uh, did a demonstration of this. She's from back east, so that'll tell you who that is. She's probably the highest paid influencer on TikTok. She used this product, demonstrated it last summer. She was trying to, um, if I remember correctly, she was testing out mascaras for her wedding last year. And she used this product. And then there was a big stink by one of the other social media people accusing her of wearing false lashes and not letting her natural lashes show through. And there was just a huge, huge uproar about it. And it happened not, not too long before her wedding actually. And uh, I don't know that she really ever addressed the accusations, but it just sort of went away. Like most things do, it goes viral. You know, uh, I sometimes I think social media is like a four-year-old. It, it has a temper tantrum and it is extremely jealous. And then it just, like a four-year-old, it has the attention span of a gnat and it goes in and creates this terrible destruction and havoc and then it just fades away. <laughs> oh, Lord. And, um, but, you know, Maybelline was real pleased because it got a lot of airtime and it got a lot of people talking about it. And so a lot of people went out and bought the product. They're not stupid, right? Manufacturers. All right, let's go to this side. Personally, I don't care. I really don't. Um, I just really don't care. I really don't. It, to me, it doesn't make any difference whether or not she used false lashes or she didn't use false lashes. She demonstrated the product, she put it on, and um, she had a beautiful result. Now, I think a lot of what goes on, especially on TikTok, is just jealousy from other influencers and, um, Again, the thing that drives me the drives me crazy about social media is the ability of somebody that you don't know and probably will never know to come in and say negative, hateful, and sometimes very destructive comments, hurtful comments because they have the power of anonymity and because you will never be face to face with them. I think it's cowardice, frankly. And, um, you know, it's such a remarkable tool that we have, internet and social media. And um, I have no patience for negativity and destructive comments. If you're going to participate and my mother always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you have a constructive comment, that's different. By all means, post a constructive comment. But when you, when you post hateful, destructive, hurtful comments, I don't care who it is. I think you're a coward. I really do. And I can just tell you how I, you know, this is how I feel. I'm going to be just real honest with you here because... I myself have had the same sort of people come after me and I just don't have time for them. I'm not going to respond to them. I'm going to do one thing when I see a negative comment. Doop. Delete. I don't have time for that. I'm not going to allow it. My social media is about encouraging and helping and you know, all of us making comments that are helpful for each other. Um, and we're just talking about makeup, for goodness sakes. We are not talking about UN classified documentation here. It's makeup. 
makeup is a transforming product and it, the whole purpose is to make you look beautiful and feel beautiful. So I am just not going to participate, nor am I going to allow it on my channel. The world has enough negativity everywhere to be, to be adding it to a social media endeavor where we're talking about, I don't care any social media, frankly, where we're talking about 90% of the time something positive. So to get all worked up about it, I just think is a waste of energy and a waste of time. And for me, it's just real simple. Delete. I'm not going to waste my time even responding to people who think they can just say what they want, how they want to say it. Um, it's just, I don't have time for it and I'm not going to do it. And it's not going to remain on my, any of my social media postings. They're, they're just going to be deleted. And if feelings are hurt and you don't want to continue to follow, then that's okay too. Have a great day. Move on. Keep scrolling as they say. All right. Uh, Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Okay. I've got everything in a nice row here. So I can do it in order too for you guys. Let's put the glasses on and see how we're looking today and what do we need to fix. Hmm. I don't really know that we need to fix anything, but maybe just add a tad bit more on the apples of my cheeks, my mascara here. Just right here so we can see it a little better. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and I am going to get my lip gloss. This is Physician's Formula um, Diamond Plumper by um, Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula. Has no color, it's just an, it is, it is just a plumper and boy, it plumps, let me tell you. All right, what do you guys think? How do we look? Beautiful lavender, really lavender is what it's all about today. It was my mother, one of my mother's favorite colors and one of her favorite, probably her favorite scent, that and Chanel number no. five. That'll tell you who my mom was just by the perfume that she wore. Classic, timeless, feminine. She was the epitome of her generation. I, I, I just, she was. She inspired everything that I do in my life. And I will be eternally grateful for everything she taught me, including my makeup. All right. It's TGIF, everybody, and it's Mother's Day. I hope you have a blessed day. Get out there and hit your Grand Slam, right? Just do it. Make Put yourself together so you can take that 10 seconds of that first impression and take it to the moon. Make a, such a great impression that whoever's on the other end of it just goes, oh my gosh, wow, I need that person in my life or in my business or whatever it is knock their socks off by being confident and being the best version of yourself. Take the time every day to get yourself together, present your best, put your best foot forward. So whoever you come into connection with has but one reaction. Wow. It makes you feel so good when you know that reaction has happened and you can take that and just run with it. Whatever your goal is, Set them now at any age. Say, this is what I want and this is how I got to get there. And then don't let anybody else get in your way. You are your best supporter. And this is such a powerful tool. Say, this is what I'm going to do. This is my goal. I can do it. And then put your plan in place, hard work, faith, and dedication, and you will get there. Believe in yourself. So you can have the very best life you can, be as successful as you can. And that's what this is all about, helping you do that.
helping each other do that in this small but growing community because we are growing and we all need community. To be truly happy, we need community. We need other human beings to interact with positively. We need a community. And then just always remember your age. It doesn't mean you can't go do something. It means you may have to wait depending on your age, but don't let your age stop you from chasing a goal or a dream or something you know that you want to do or places you want to go. Don't let your age get in your way. More now than ever in our society, there is so much opportunity for everybody. We just have to be willing to work hard to go get it. And I believe we can all do that. I really do. Believe in yourself and all things are possible. Be humble and grateful along the way too. That's very important. That's why I post a gratitude message every single day. So the universe knows I am grateful for this remarkable, beautiful life. This stunningly beautiful Friday. The sun is out. It's Mother's Day weekend. Houston is finally drying out. And even with the disappointment from yesterday, life is good. And we've got to find the positive, even in the negative. My mother taught me that too. She also told me, if you put your head in the sand long enough, if you bury your head in the sand long enough, sooner or later, somebody's going to come along and blow off your butt. That's not what she said, but I don't want to put that word there. You know, your butt. Stick your head in the ground long enough and somebody's going to come along and blow off your butt. She's true too. It's true too. God bless you on this beautiful Friday. Get out there and hit your Grand Slam. Have a remarkably beautiful Mother's Day weekend. Wherever you are, stay safe. Tell all those in your life how much they mean because tomorrow is never a guarantee or a promise for any of us. And I appreciate you more than I can express. You guys are the light, day, light of my day every day. And I continue to do this because it makes me feel good. And I know there's plenty of you out there that enjoy what I do. If you don't, just find somewhere else to waste your time. I don't think it's a waste of time, however. I think we, as a community, provide each other what we are looking for, and that's support and encouragement and some light entertainment, if you will. God bless. This is Carrie from Houston. You guys just are amazing. Thank you so much. If you're not a member of this community, please join us and send me a note. I got a beautiful note yesterday from a new follower. Thank you for that. And I do want to hear from you. If you are new, please let me know so I can reach out to you and say thank you for joining our wonderful little community here. God bless. Stay safe. See you in the next video, everyone.